know why deconstructionism exists? Because discipleship didn't. And you got these people more in love with your church than in love with Jesus. And so when the church hurt them, they couldn't even stay committed to Jesus? There are three reasons why I dislike this video and others like it that I've seen on the Christian side of TikTok and social media. The first one is the assumption that everyone who leaves Christianity was simply church hurt. And that's honestly really far from the truth. Myself, for example, was never church hurt. That's not the reason why I left. As a matter of fact, if you were to ask me some of my fondest memories from childhood, especially around Christmas and New Year's time, most of my memories would be from church. Deconstruction doesn't happen simply because you're hurt. As we grow up and get more educated and we learn more about science, geography, history, you start to see that a lot of the biblical narrative simply doesn't add up and you deconstruct from there. Many folks like myself started their deconstruction journey when we were trying to actually prove Christianity true, when we were actually trying to defend the faith, not leave it. The second reason I dislike the entire church hurt narrative is that it trivializes people who actually were harmed by these institutions. There's a lot of real harm that happens in the church from sexual exploitation to financial exploitation to intellectual exploitation. All of these cause real trauma to people that we just shouldn't ignore and just simply call the church hurt. Not to mention that just because the deconstruction was based on something emotional, it doesn't make it any less valid. When you're part of a community that's told that you're supposed to uphold certain values, and many people and leaders within that community actually fail to uphold those values, on top of them causing real trauma to others, it's completely valid and proper for you to actually examine why you're part of that community in the first place, why you actually believe in these things this community believes in the first place. Which leads me to the third reason why it is like the church hurt narrative. It essentially promotes an anti-intellectual mentality, which I feel is dangerous for black people as a whole. It does this in two ways. Number one, it doesn't critically examine the reason why people leave in the first place, like the first two reasons that I said. It also causes in-group, out-group bias. So when a black Christian runs into a black non-religious person like myself, there's already a division there, and now we can't work together. Which is the second way it promotes anti-intellectualism. Black Christians who are actually interested and wanted to have intellectual conversations with people like myself now are discouraged and have a bias against doing so. You know what they say in atheist circles? There's no hate like Christian love. 